circuit workout before Christmas. And uh, today is going to do 12 days of Christmas. 12 days of Christmas. So we have 12 exercises. Uh, you do the first one, then you do the second one and the first one. And then the third, second, and first one. And then the fourth, third, second, first one. You get the idea, just like the song, 12 days of Christmas. So uh, the warm up can just be, I'm going to demonstrate every movement and you can demonstrate it with me to get yourself moving. So number one is a side shuffle. So uh, one side shuffle counts for there and back is one side shuffle. That's exercise one. Exercise two is a V-sit. So you'll sit and so you'll do two V-sits and then a side shuffle, right? All right. Number three is push-ups. Do your version of a push-up, whatever that works for you, okay? We're doing three of them. Exercise four is reverse lunges, four in total, so two each side, okay? So four in total. Whenever there's an option for like, if it's a, if it's a, bio, a unilateral exercise, it's just the total number, okay? Five is jumping jacks, okay? Five is jumping jacks. Six is shoot the duck. This is like a single leg squat, but we try to sit and the heel comes out. We alternate from one side to the other. All right, so six in total, three each side. Number seven is a plank hand to chest. So your plank is on the back of the couch, the stairs, or the floor. It's seven touches. Touch, touch, touch. Seven times. Number eight is hop squats or squat hops. So it's down and hop, down and hop. Okay, that's the eight. Normally during this process, there's lots of time to go look at the list to see what we're doing because you're dying of exhaustion, right? Nine. Oh my god, see number nine? Nine burpees. You can choose to do them in the way that suits you, right? Do you get the idea? Maybe it's that one. Maybe it's just a step out and there's no jump. Okay. Maybe all the way down. Oh, nine burpees. Uh, ten shoulder presses. So we're going to get your small weights and you do ten. Oh, sorry, tw uh, what did I say? Ten. Ten shoulder presses, both going together. Uh, number 11 is tricep kickbacks. So they're going together, 11 of them, right? And then 12 bicep curls. So 10, 11, and 12 are kind of a reprieve from number nine. And then number nine kind of destroys us as we try to continue on to the rest of one, okay? Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Let's warm up a little bit more. I don't feel warmed up. I'm sure you don't feel warmed up. So, uh, I'm going to get actual music. And uh, we're going to start a warm-up. And then we're going to just smash this one to next year. Alright, where are you? Where are you? We're going to start with baby jumping jacks. So start with baby jumping jacks. Okay. Just a few little jumping jacks here. Get ourselves going. Gotta burn off a little bit of this initial adrenaline. It's gonna crush us. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's do a little side shuffle. Get this going. Remember, this is how every round ends. We get to the end with one side shuffle, which means it's there and back. And then we go back to the top wherever we were, okay? So I always show these exercises going from 1 to 12, but we do them in the opposite order. So don't mix that up. It's just like the song. The song always counts down. 3, 2, 1. Nice. Let's walk out the butt kickers. All right, I'm going to throw this out there. So two days ago, there's another circuit workout dated December 15th by Chris Canoop, also called the 12 Days of Christmas. 
Uh, I'm curious as to which one's harder, mine or his. I haven't done his yet. Let's jog this out. Nice work, keep your breathing going. Three, two, one. Come on out of that. All right, let's do a little bit of reverse lunge. Just a nice gentle lunge. Swing the arms through. Just some range of motion stuff. Let that breathing come back down so that we can get it back up again. This, this is always just done through a happy, comfortable range of motion. And you start to pay attention to yourself calmly, right? And that's always a good plan. One more each side. Oh, all right. So grab your water. So one of the ways to do this is you just uh, follow the list and do everything the way it's supposed to be done. Uh, if I get behind you, you can just keep going to the end and finish. Uh, if, uh, if you get behind me, then just uh, pause the tape if you're watching this recorded and catch up and then press play again, okay? And then the third option is, if you are behind me, but you just want to follow, then you can kind of ignore the repetitions, the eight, the seven, the six, the five. Move to the exercise that I'm doing, do it for as long as I'm doing it, and then switch to the next exercise when I switch. That works too, all right. So exercise number one, was the single side shuffle. Let's do it. Side shuffle there, side shuffle back, and let's look at exercise number two. Two V-sits. So now we sit, we do two V-sits, oh, and then a side shuffle. And a partridge in a pear tree. All right, exercise three is three push-ups. Let's get three push-ups in here. After those push-ups, we had two V-sits. Two V-sits. Last one, shuffle there and back. And a partridge in a pear tree. Fourth exercise, reverse lunges. Four in total. Now we got three push-ups. Three push-ups. I love doing push-ups in threes, that's the best. We got two V-sits. Last exercise, shuffle there and back. Woo! All right, number five is five jumping jacks. Four reverse lunges. Nice work. Three push ups. Three push ups. Two V sits. So by day 10 or 11, it's easy to remember what day one, two, three, and four are. And a shuffle. Partridge in a pear tree. All right. Number six is six shoot the ducks. Three each side. Bum goes back. Heel reaches forwards. Really good leg exercise. And core. Yeah. Five jumping jacks. Four reverse lunges. Four in total. Three push ups. Two V 
V-sits. And a shuffle there and back. All right. Quick note, whenever you're rising yourself, that's on your exhalation. You exhale then. Okay. Oh. Seven, the seventh plank, hand to chest. Seven plank, hand to chest. So seven touches. Remember, wide feet makes this easier. Touching seven times. Nice job. We don't hurry through it. Six, shoot the ducks. Excellent. Five jumping jacks. Four reverse lunges. Three push ups. Two V sets. And a shuffle there and back. Okay. Squat hops. Eight squat hops. Nice. Seven plank and chest. Nice job. Six, shoot the ducks. Six, shoot the ducks. Five jumping jacks. Four reverse lunges. You might be wondering where the rest period is in this workout. Uh, we call that New Year's. Okay. Uh, three push ups. Three push ups. Two V sets. Two V sets. And finally, a shuffle there and back. Number nine. Remember number nine? Of course you do. I'm gonna get a little mad out here. Nine burpees. Nine burpees in the fashion that you do burpees. Here we go. Keep your breathing going. That's important. <clears throat> Woo. All right. Nice work. Now the fun really gets going. Eight hop squats. Eight hop squats. If you start to run out of air, take a pause, watch, then jump in again. Six, shoot the ducks. Three each side.
Five jumping jacks. Four reverse lunges. Three push ups. Two V sets. We got this memorized now, eh? And a shuffle there and back. All right, 10 shoulder presses. 10 shoulder presses. And to be honest, this counts with no weight, right? Catching our breath. And 10. All right, I forget what nine is. Oh yeah, hell. Nine burpees, here we go. I think I'm getting to the end. Woo! All right, eight hop squats. Let's get them in there. Nice. Seven plank hand to chest. Starting to breathe again. Uh, six, shoot the ducks. Here we go. I feel my balance starting to fade. Five jumping jacks. Uh, four, reverse lunges. Three push-ups. Two V-sets. And a shuffle there and back. All right, 11. 11 tricep kickbacks. So, back nice and straight, hinge at the hip, kick in the back 11 times. When those are done, 10 shoulder presses. Okay. Here's the money maker. Nine burpees. We love this. Here we go.
taking in a quick drink here. Okay, eight hop squats. Eight hop squats. Six, shoot the ducks. Five, jumping jacks. Four, reverse lunges. Three push-ups. Uh, two V-sits. I black out there for a second. And a shuffle there and back. Twelve. Twelfth day. Last day ever. Bicep curls, 12. Here we go. We might as well do these right and get that elbow to go as straight as possible at the bottom. More importantly, enjoy the breathing part of this. Keep those weights in your hands. 11 tricep kickbacks. Kicking it back. He's done. Moving on. Eight hop squats. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Plank. Hand to chest. Seven. Six, shoot the ducks. If you're holding on to something at this point for stability, that's cool. Uh, five jumping jacks.
Four reverse lunges. Yeah, so here, if you're holding on to the couch, that's totally fine. Push ups. Three. And it's two V sits. And a shuffle there and back. Woo! Woo! Look at that! Holy crow! Hmm. That is the 12 days of Christmas. You're welcome. So I'm going to throw this out there into the world. Sometimes, that's not true, all the time, we offer up the possibility of the Boxing Day workout, which is 12 of everything. So we go to the day 12, and we just did 12 tricep, no, 12 bicep curls, so that's easy. But then we do 12 the next one, 12 the next one, 12, you know, you get the idea, right? So I can maybe see your head if it nods or shakes. Uh, if we're gonna try the bonus round, how about this? Let's try the bonus round to the best of our ability. Let's try that, okay. So that means we start at 12, which is bicep curls. I don't know how it's gonna turn out for me, I'm going to try to do 12 of each, and yeah, we got 20 minutes yet, so I think I should get it done in 20 minutes. Okay. All right. Actually, that's not true. We got 15 minutes with some stretching at the end, so let's we'll better crank it here, okay? All right. Boxing day workout. Bonus 12 of everything. Here we go. 12 bicep curls. Yeah. Eleven, twelve, switching to kickbacks. Here we go. Eleven or twelve of these. It's nice work. There's twelve. All right, twelve shoulder presses. Here we go. Key is to pick nice small weights. All right, I forget what's next. Oh yeah, burpees. Oh yeah, 12 burpees. Okay, see you back here next week. Ready, go. No, 12 half squats. Come on. There's 12. Oh, shoot. Plank hand to chest. 12. We got this, here we go. Just doing those a little faster. No need to dawdle. 
Shoot the ducks. 12. Here we go. And there's 12. Jumping jacks. 12, here we go. Woo. 12 reverse lunges. Six each side. Big breaths. Nice work. All right. Reverse lunges. We always think push ups at the beginning is only three. That's perfect. And then I forget about the boxing day piece. 12 push ups. Let's do it. sets. The end is near. And 12. All right. Now we're doing 12 shuffles, which should be kind of like the beginning of the cool down, right? There and back, 12 times. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Hmm. Halfway done. Remember, you can make this back and forth thing as big as you want. If you've got a whole basement to run back and forth in. I think that's nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh my goodness! Twelve! Oh, that's fantastic. Just a little more. Let's walk it out. So that's the 12 days of Christmas with the bonus round, Boxing Day. That's fantastic. Let's spend a little bit of time with mobility here, okay? Favorite song ever. Paul, oh, let's do the first stretch a little bit here standing first, okay? I think that's going to feel better. Uh, what I like to do with the standing is, oh man, just to have a little motion with the legs still, just to make sure the venous return, uh, the blood keeps flowing. So, let's try to take one hand and reach behind a little bit, and all we're doing is just grabbing the opposite elbow and just trying to gently, gently stretch, right? You can also do this with your wrist, pull it across, 
okay? And then what you can do if your forearm ends up behind your head, is just use your head to push back a little bit, just a little bit, and that increases the stretch on the chest. Yeah, let's switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Okay, you keep doing that. And I'm going to pick something different. All right, switch sides, same thing on the first side. Huh. And switch to the second side. All right, come on out of that. Let's get down on our mat. And we're just going to gently get into a one leg forward, one leg behind position. That back knee is as far back as you want it to be. You can be on your front knee, elbows on your kitchen chair you've got nearby, or hands down on the mat in front of you. Maybe the toes in the back point. Maybe they stay curled under. Then we breathe. All right, three, two, one. Let's switch sides. However that suits you the best. I like to go through the plank position. Once you're there, you're just doing your best to relax and enjoy. Oh, nice work. All right, three, two, one. Let's switch back to the first side. And it's going to be the exact same thing. We're just going to explore to see if we have any more range of motion this time. Maybe the knee falls out to the side or the pelvis drops towards the floor a little bit more. I'm sure you relaxed as much as you could last time and you had all your attention on your breath, but the second time around, we just kind of dig a little deeper into those two things. All right, three, two, one, switch back to the other side. Same idea, same stretch. Maybe it's going to be a little bit deeper this time. So I always, in my own mind, come back to uh, my number one trick for keeping on the regular activity train. Because it's, it's really not what you do, but how often you do it. Um, how regular you do it, I should say. Not often, how regular. And. Uh, if a week goes by or a time period starts where the regularity is going to suffer from it. Uh, jumping in, just doing a warm up and then stopping uh, is a thousand times better than nothing. Uh, doing a warm up and then fast forwarding ahead to the cool down and then going back to work, 10,000 times better than not doing anything at all. Okay, let's go back to that first side. Same stretch, third time around. Third time around, this is where uh, sometimes it feels better. Uh, sometimes it actually can feel worse. By worse, I mean like it's tight, tighter, or it's grabbing more. And that's not because the stretching is hurting you. It's because the first part that was a little bit tight 
and maybe felt like three out of 10 on the tingly scale, well, that part relaxed and went away. And now you've uh, drilled down to the part that when you start to pull on it, it's a seven out of 10 for tingle. So it's just that you've gotten a little deeper. It's like a jawbreaker. The first layer maybe turns turns your tongue blue, and then all of a sudden your tongue turns red. It's just because the jawbreaker you're just deeper into the jawbreaker now. Oh, we're breathing and relaxing. Three, two, one. We're switching sides. Same thing on the second side. This is the last stretch of the last Thursday of a live Thursday workout in 2020. I think it's important this year that we note the last of anything that's happening this year to uh, help us believe that 2020 is going to wrap up. All right, slowly come out of that stretch. Ah. Uh, and then also, boy, like, think back to your own personal life as to what good did come out of 2020 because, you know, there's obviously a bunch of stuff. And then focus on that as we move forward. All right, that's the workout. 12 days of Christmas done. See you later.